Well, in today's video, you're going to see a natural spectacle that you don't see here often where I live. And certainly not something I've seen in my time that I've lived here. I've spent a lot of time down the beach. You're going to see some of our smallest ever bone finds, a piece of an aircraft, and some possible pieces of an aircraft. So uh, stick around for the rest of the video and the roundup. I'll see you there. Just thought I'd show you some of the beautiful local sea hollies. These are absolutely stunning, I love them. Absolutely beautiful colour. Very prickly. And it's amazing where they grow. So barren and desolate. Not a lot of goodness in the soil and it's very salty. And they still thrive. Funny old day today, We've got a big storm coming from the south. 40 to 60 mile per hour winds and heavy thundery downpours. So uh, we're just getting out while we can. First find, a little mushroom top. Nothing majorly exciting, but I will get back to you on the next find. Possibly got an interesting piece of metal. I think it looks like aluminium. I'm off um, some safety glasses or someone's glasses. Plastic, so that'll be coming over. Lots of gulls around today. And gulls, by the looks of it. Yeah, there must be plenty of bait fish about today. We've seen a, seen a load of them washed up. They're, um, I think we call them sprats. They're like a tiny little bait fish. That's what these seagulls go after. I'll show you some on the way back because there's still some washed up. But uh, yeah, interesting. Lovely bit of nature. So I just looked down the ground and I'll pick this up. Give it a focus. So I keep finding that for these things. You can probably guess what I'm now about to show you. Uh, 
trunk of coal. Nice little fine. Go on my granddad's fire. And I'm not sure. I think it's either a bit of fossil wood or a bit of fossil bone. But either way, fossilized. And a nice little find. So I'll see you on the next one. Next find, tiny little bit of copper or brass. How big it is. Center of the screen, there's sea glass. Nice clear piece. A bit safe from uh, carrying snow hands. Oh, get windy now. Storm's coming. See you on the next five. No way. Can't believe it. The smallest bit of bone I've ever found. That tiny little piece. That is absolutely diddy. Wow. Smallest bit ever. No way. It's a day for tiny fragments. Here's another little piece. Oops, a daisy. Let that go. Another tiny little fragment of bone. Can't complain though. Little fragment of bone. I thought I'd show you some of this stuff. It's often picked up by sort of fossil hunters when we all sort of pick bits of this stuff up when we first start fossil hunting. It's called ironstone. It's got a very, very low iron content and uh, sort of back in the olden days, they actually used to use this as a sort of like a, a really poor grade of iron ore. So yeah, you can make iron out of this, hence why it's called ironstone, but um, it sort of looks very like bone. And every now and then you get a piece with a very smart bit of texture on it. That can make the, uh, make the mine go wild because you just don't know what it is, but yeah, it's only a bit of ironstone, so it's nothing exciting. But we all do it, we all pick that up when we uh, first start fossil hunting. There's loads of it here in Norfolk. So yeah, ironstone. Don't know if it comes out in, in the video, but um, all them gulls are after a shoal of fish. You see the water's a lot darker there. They're after them little sprats. Loads of them. So I should imagine there'll probably be some summer bass amongst that lot as well. If I had a fishing rod, I'd be chucking that in frantically trying to catch one. Yeah, before you get <laughs> Yeah, before you catch a seagull as well, Kerry said. There's that storm we've just missed. They are having a feast. The water is black. See them, I don't think, but you can see them all in the water. Oh, it's a shame this camera's not going to pick them up. But they're everywhere, you can see them down there. There we go, you can see them. That is just, just found them. Not a sight you see every day. Seagulls off the shore of the fish. The storm's sort of well on its way now. It's closing in on us. You can see the rain in the distance. Hopefully we don't get too wet. Still loads to look at. We'll see you on the next find. Interesting. Just had another one of these sort of like little brass sleevey items. Found one of these a few weeks ago in a previous video. Sealed on the end. It's sort of all split open this end. So it's sort of hollow. Made out of brass or copper. Yeah, proper unusual. Totally unsure of what they are. But an interesting little find. Nice 
you see last on my back is starting to lightly start to rain so we're trying to make our way home and find things at the same time but yeah see you on the next one hopefully so i've just found a bit of a tree and uh possibly put it roman yeah we'll uh be for all research and we'll let you know about that no way it looks like a, uh, that's another piece of air prey no way them rivets that's a hundred percent what that is. What another fantastic find. Well, I never thought I'd, no, I'd find another bit of this. But, uh, yeah, well, nice find. We'll show you that when we're home and it's all cleaned up. Okay, it's just gone whoop. We found a bit of fossil wood. <laughs> Stole a find. Yeah, a few bits of this today. Always like finding it. Because every bit's different. So I've got like a little scale on there by the looks of it. No on the way back, nothing super moody. It's getting really windy. And we're getting really hungry. So it's nearly lunchtime and a cup of tea time. So you can probably not see it on the screen actually. But it's a bit of sea glass. Kind of walked past him and pointed it out and he was like, what? <laughs> you can see the rain off in the distance there. Hopefully a skirt and rounders. We're going that away over where Kerry is. That looks like that's going that away. So fingers crossed we miss that. And we're back at Bottles and Blisters HQ with our roundup. Gonna start off with the pile of rubbish we've got today. Plenty of bits of plastic. We've got an old plant tag, an old bottle top, got a bit of a plastic tag with BPL 0789 written on it. Another miscellaneous bit of plastic. Um, bits of plastic crates. Melted bits of plastic. Plastic from pairs of glasses or safety goggles. Drinks bottles. Other containers. Bits of um, takeaway coffee cups. Even got a bit of one of them um, file folders. Plastic wallet. Yeah, plastic wallet. So yeah, loads of that today. That's not a bit of rubbish, but that's that um, brass bit we found. Very unusual. I'm gonna have to try and identify what these are. You can see it's just a hollow rectangular sort of tube made of really, really thin brass by the looks of it. So yeah, these are stumping me at the minute, but I did find another one a few weeks ago. A bit of hair. It's a little bit bigger. There it is again. Another brass tube. It's obviously a little bit bigger than the um, one we found today. But yeah, stumping me at the minute. I'm not sure what they are. Uh, there's that big-ish bit of coal, which will go on the coal pile. Here's some of our better finds. Got the uh, little mushroom top. Got a few bits of sea glass. Kerry's got another couple of bits of belemnite. It's got a bit of a pointy end on it. There's a little tip off of one. A couple of the tiniest bits of uh, fossil bone we've ever seen. They were really hard to spot they were. It was really hard going on the beach today because um, the wind's been in the wrong direction and the beach is really sandy so didn't really have a much, you know, a lot of gravel to sort of look through. So these are the only two bits between us we've found today. I didn't find any either. So um, that's a bit of, you're not going to be able to see it because of the light, but um, that's just a little sliver of mother of pearl that Kerry's found. She found a couple of nice... I think they're gemstones. Yeah, possibly. i have to give them a polish one day, Kerry. There's another one. They look quite nice when they're sort of damp. Got a couple of bits of chenillion. Got to pick these up and have a look because they look so like amber. There's our bits of sea glass. Got six bits today. A little copper or brass repair patch we found. There's our bits of fossil wood. Here's a bit of pottery Kerry found. I don't know how old it is, but. She found it in an area where I found that Roman pottery all those years ago, so just thought we'd bring it back and have a look just in case. Here's the um, 
views that we found last week on the way back. You'll probably see in, in this video the uh, clip where I clean it up. It's not very long, I've done it on a sort of time lapse. But uh, yeah, you'll see this being cleaned up. Another bit of metal that could possibly be off an aircraft. This is what I was saying at the beginning of uh, the video. Here's a bit that's definitely off an aircraft. Still yet to be cleaned up. It was made of aluminium and got them flush rivets, which are exactly the same as these rivets, which are off the first bit of aircraft we found. Yeah. So if you added that onto the end there, I'd say it's part of the same panel or panels. Yeah, it's the second, maybe third piece we found this year, so that's very interesting. Yeah. Oh yeah, we've got this bit of, I think that's an old like onion sack or vegetable bag or something. It's just absolute rubbish. I'm going to be going in the bin. So yeah, that concludes our video. Thanks for joining us again, and hopefully we'll see you next week. Take care, good luck and happy hunting if you go out. See you later from me and Kerry.